Hi, this is Nate, and I'm here to show you a first look at Logic 8, the brand new version of Apple's Logic today. And uh, so for anyone who's a Logic 7 user or uh, current GarageBand user especially, might be interested to look I'm at this. I'm very excited to have this. As you can see, there's a, a new uh, sort of gold record icon for it there, same, same sort of splash screen. And, you know, I think in this version, Apple has really sort of um, Appleized the program. Um, it's no longer an eMagic type of program. I always thought version 7 was sort of Apple's version of eMagic's logic. And now they've really sort of uh, made it a true blue Apple program. Here they have a new splash, uh, splash screen up here. And it's, you know, it's not as in-depth as I had hoped. Um, it's almost more of a demoing screen. Um, guitar tones, you can check out the new uh, tones in Guitar and Pro, check out the new instruments, then there's a compose screen here. Sort of the same thing, the different sounds in the program. And a produce screen, I'm a little curious about um, some of these, like uh, stereo mastering is kind of a cool new screen. I'm interested to try Some that new out. templates here. Um, and of course you can still create your own. I'll just start with empty project and take a look at this when it pops up here. This is something. This is this will be your most shocking moment when you get the new program. And here is the new window. Um, the new the new first screen. As you can see, um, one big difference is the transport bar is now connected to the screen itself and the first thing I thought of when I opened this was GarageBand I mean it really almost looks um, more like GarageBand than like Logic so uh, I'm sure Apple had that in mind to make it an easy transition um, you can always open another transport bar but I, I was always annoyed by that that was always in my way so I'm glad they they put it down there um, anyway this new window pops up new tracks I like that this comes up right away let's say I want six new audio tracks you know you can uh, set a sending few new features there and I'll create and there we have our six new audio tracks um, the media button over here oh, there we go um, now it's easy to open um, this is our bin so all our audio tracks we create I really like that idea we can add you know new audio files if we like um, and you can grab everything from over here which is I think a real great convenience here's our Apple loop so this is a lot like we see in GarageBand or when we bring up before when you bring up the loop window which was sort of an add-on in the previous version and now I think it's more um, sort of a part of the program so you can add and remove the media window which is great now we can still bring up different screens by hitting the Apple and number buttons like we can bring up our mixer window which I'm always very used to using um, there's our score window and what is that hit this plus bring up that window again very easy to bring up new tracks now or this button here just uh, adds a new track of what you've already selected so another audio track There's another seven and eight. Um, another way to keep it all consolidated is we can just come down here and say hit mixer and there our mixer just pops up and covers up of course you can always resize windows sample editor brings up a full sample view piano roll so on. All right, let's look at some of the fun plugins before we go here. Um, <clears throat> let's right away look at, oh, right at the top, Guitar Amp Pro, look at that. And uh, here we go, look at that. And so, uh, you know, I th always thought the Logic 7 Guitar Amp program was sort of an afterthought or maybe just kind of stuck in there. It wasn't, it wasn't very usable, it wasn't that great. This is a much more fleshed out um, amp models, you know, you can choose your amp design. Your EQ is like modern and British, American, and uh, speaker combination. And of course, uh, we have all sorts of uh, refined controls here with EQ. Um, <clears throat> this all you really do is it's a little more graphical than anything, but you can choose, you know, whether you're using a dynamic or condenser mic. And all, this doesn't let, actually let you drag the position, it's just center or off center microphone position. So, um, not bad, you know. Um, now this is something that's very different. This is on all the plugins, this new um, bar at the top here. I love the compare feature. I'm really excited to use that some more. And uh, now we can pull up presets very easily here. 
there's a lot more presets in a lot of these plugins. You know, say we want a fat stack, and there we go. Um, copy and paste. So everything's just a little, um, a little easier to access up here. And you also notice sort of the dark color scheme. So Guitar Hit Pro, very cool. Of course, we have our EQ at the top, which is a, a familiar thing in Logic. Okay. And I also wanted to show you the new pitch correction, which is a little more advanced than it was in the previous version. I'll just show you a plugin like such as Silver Verb that we found in the previous version. And you know, um, they've changed the look and the organization. It seems like they're going away from that sort of curved button look, uh, which I, I'm a little sad about from the previous previous versions of Logic. I, oh, here's another one. I'll show you last minute. Fat EQ is one of the new EQs. Logic Express does not disappoint. Um, at this at this stage in the game and I'm very excited to delve into it more so um, stay tuned thanks for listening <laughs>